Welcome back to this series of Black Hat Fast Chats. Terry Sweeney here, contributing editor to Black Hat, and I'm joined now by Maor Bin, co CEO and co-founder of Adaptive Shield. Maor, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, happy to be here. Let's start by talking about why it's such a challenge to secure the software as a service app estate. What's, what's going on there? Yeah, so I guess it wouldn't surprise you when I say that SaaS adoption is on the rise. And if you think about it, it only makes sense since all you need to do really in order to adapt a new SaaS app is just 10 minutes of your time and a credit card. Now, SaaS vendors are investing lots of time and effort in securing their own infrastructure, but they also uh, introduced their clients to a set of global and per user native security settings. Now, the thing is, it is the organization's responsibility to make sure the settings are configured correctly. So think about it. I mean, you have so many apps, each app has dozens or sometimes hundreds of security settings. Uh, I mean, literally each app is a word unto itself with unique settings, a distinct UI, and sometimes it's own like practical language. Uh, sometimes these settings are uh, only accessible through an API and not even appear in the UI, which makes it hard to manage and have a clear visibility across all these different SaaS applications. And I didn't even mention the fact that these environments are dynamically and constantly changing. So I think it explains uh, the challenge in, you know, in a nutshell, and it's fair to say that the complexity made it really impossible to manage it manually. To, to build on that slightly, um, talk a little bit about what is SaaS Security Posture Management, or SSPM, I guess, as it's come to be more widely known in the industry. What, what, what's, what's, what's behind SSPM? Yeah, so as you mentioned, SSPM stands for SaaS Security Posture Management, and it's really the process of automating the collection of all the security settings from all your SaaS apps, analyzing them continuously and looking for security loopholes. So in other words, it helps you maintain a continuous hygiene with deep visibility and detection capabilities and appropriate remediation plan across all these apps. Now, this might sound similar to CSPM, which is Cloud Security Posture Management, but the main difference between the two is that CSPM addresses only IaaS sometimes pass within your uh, IaaS, usually analyzing network configurations and policies, while the focus of SSPM is on SaaS and not IaaS. Now, when you think about the CASB, so CASBs do address security issues in SaaS, but they're usually related to DLP and some of them also uh, offer detection of breaches uh, once they have occurred. Uh, on the other hand, SSPM tries to help uh, to address and prevent problems before they happen. So um, Gartner, CSA and, and others are, are pointing to misconfigurations as the, the top threat in the cloud security landscape. Cloud is obviously not a new technology. Talk a bit about why this, this issue persists like it does. I mean, again, there are so many possible misconfigurations in the cloud and eventually it can come and affect you from places you didn't think about. Uh, I personally like to talk about, you know, SSO and MFA because these two are such important two features when it comes to SaaS access. So sure. take SSO for, for example, something, this configuration is enabled for all users, but it's actually not, you know, you uh, uh, deploy an identity provider uh, and for maintenance reasons, I mean, most SaaS vendors or identity provider system, um, they actually... Uh, gives you some sort of uh, uh, a bypass to log into this system without going through them uh, directly. So it's important to monitor and verify that, you know, mandatory multi-factor authentication and native multi-factor authentication is actually 
enabled for these super users. If you don't do it, they just exposed to potential credential threat, uh, theft, sorry, and account takeovers. I'm sure you get this from customers all the time, but, but talk to us about um, best practices that uh, organizations can use to prevent SaaS misconfiguration. Yeah, so, so for me, I would say that, you know, probably the most important thing is to get 100% coverage of MFA for all users in all the different applications and some access control settings, but it really depends on the strategy. I mean, usually it makes sense to start with some low hanging fruits like uh, anonymously accessible uh, content and some others. And you can continue with uh, permission trimming, making sure that you know the relevant users have access to uh, the resources that they need, filtering by usage patterns, etc. Uh, but I think the best practice is really um, an automated solution. Moer, thanks for the perspectives on keeping the app estate so secure. Um, appreciate you joining us today in this fast chat. No, oh, thank you. Appreciate the time. We've been talking with Maur Bin of Adaptive Shield. This has been Terry Sweeney for Black Hat. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.